Okay, hello grade 8s and welcome to lesson 2.6 representing percent and you can follow along at home on page 68 uh, in your textbook and the goal is to represent and calculate percents that involve whole numbers or decimals and whole number percents that are greater than 100%. So first let me start off by saying 100% equals 1. Anything less than 100%, say, I don't know, 83%, that's less than 1. Now, does that make a lot of sense? No, not really. What I'm trying to say, and what, can I, what I can say to make it a little more clear, is when I say 1, that means one whole, or one group. For example, let's say a group is a hockey team, let's say. Let's just say we're talking about a hockey team. All right. And they generally have six skaters on the ice at a given time. Three forwards, two D, and one goalie. Of this group of six, three of them are forwards. So, 3 out of 6, or 1 half, or 50% are forwards. That's what I mean when I say a percentage, anything less than 100% is less than 1. Same with a fraction, same with a decimal, which we'll be going through um, more in depth in a couple of weeks. But let me just make this point that anything below 1 is less than 100%. 100% equals 1 or 1 whole. All right? Good. Let's move on to the example. All right. Here's the problem. Problem is exactly 800 students were enrolled at Susan's school last year. This year, the enrollment went up by 3.5%. The new enrollment is 100% of what the enrollment was 10 years ago. Okay, there's a lot here. So, question, first question is, how many students were enrolled this year and how many enrolled last year? So let's take a look at the example. Let's look at a hundred square. Now, there's a hundred squares. Take my word for it. Pause and count it if you want, uh, which represents 800. This is a hundred square. So basically this represents 100% right here. Okay, now, if, I were to say, how does this represent 800? Well, what we need to do is we need to find out what 3.5% of 800 is. We need to find out what is 1%. What is one of these squares represent? Okay, now we have something here. So basically, if you break this down and we ask, the question is, the enrollment went up 3.5%. Well, how much is that? Well, let's take a look here. If we were to take 800 and divide it by 100, 100 squares, we would get 8. So essentially, 1% equals 8. And we are asked to uh, increase our enrollment from last year by 3.5%, 3.5%. So 3, 8, plus 8, plus 8, what's half of 8, 4? What do we got here? 8 and 8 is 16, 24, 28 students. So enrollment increased 3.5%. And in real numbers, that is an increase of 28 students. So essentially, every square here represents uh, four, sorry, eight students. Okay, so your new enrollment is now 828 students. Okay, good, good. Now, again, I'll explain. We'll go more into detail. 
um, next day. But in the meantime, get these down for your notes just so you have them. And then we will continue and we'll go through more examples and to this example more in depth next day. In the meantime, get this down and we will continue. Now, next question is, this is a tricky one. It's a tricky one and I just want you to get this down in your notes so we know what's going on uh, for next day. All right, so you just come prepared. Uh, now, your enrollment is now 828. We've already established that. How many students were enrolled 10 years ago, however? So, the enrollment went up 150% from this current year. So that is 150% from what was the enrollment 10 years ago. So, the old enrollment was 100% of we don't know. Your new enrollment is 150% of that. All right, it's going to get weird. I know it's going to get confusing, but let's try this. 150, essentially, three groups. So if I were to say, what does each group represent? So that's one group right here. This is another group here and another group here. All right, weird, I know but we will explain this more in detail in class. So let's say we have 800, there's the old, there you go. 828 is your new enrollment from this year. But 10 years ago, it was 150%, well, it's 150% now, so what is it 10 years ago? So let's take a look. So if we divide these by three, all right, divide by three equals. So it's 276. You get two, three groups of 276. So 276, 276. That's 100 percent. So this and this are equal. So 276 will give me 276 times two. 552. So enrollment 10 years ago what was that again? <laughs> it's 552. 552 was the enrollment from 10 years ago. I will explain more in detail uh, next day. I know it's a little bit confusing. There's a lot here. So let's get all this down and go back again if you need to. Um, and uh, pause where you need to and just get this down. So we will continue next day. In the meantime, get all this down and uh, we'll go uh, in more detail next day. All right. Thanks for watching. Let's uh, see you in class. Thanks. Bye.